All right. Hello. Sorry about the delay. I was having some te technical difficulties, um, but I'm here and I hope you're still tuned in. And if you missed this, you can always come back later and watch the video. Um, so I'm Brenna Parker and I want to thank you for allowing me to share this practice with you, allowing me to come into your private space and, and share yoga with you. Um, and real quick, I just want to thank my, my yoga community. So I'm here at beautiful Blue Sky Yoga uh, in South City where I regularly teach classes and Annie has offered this space to me and so I'm so grateful. Um, and I'm also grateful for Yoga Buzz and for Elle and the way that she moves super quick to make this happen, to organize, to advertise, to help me figure out technology. Um, so much appreciation. And if you're not familiar with Yoga Buzz, we're a nonprofit organization. And part of our mission statement says we strive to make yoga more ex accessible across. Um, let me just take a breath. Okay. We strive to make yoga more accessible across um, background and um, body ability and um, income levels. And so now we have to prove that, right? I mean, we're always trying to prove that, but. I was not surprised when Elle was ready to jump in and bring this uh, yoga practice to you since we couldn't be together. So I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. And uh, let's begin. I have my chair here. We're going to use a chair for the practice um, with no arms. And let's begin by coming into the chair. I'm going to have you come so where you're not sitting back in the chair. I'm going to have you come forward a little bit, maybe halfway through the chair. And then plant your feet down in front of you. You may think about stacking the joints. That's an option. That means your knees are over the ankles. And then we're going to root down into the feet. We're going to begin to build a foundation for this seat so that all of our weight is not rolling back into our sit bones or into our tailbone. Once you have a connection with the feet, which I will remind you throughout this class to come back into your foundation, to ground into your feet. Once you have that foundation, begin to find your sit bones. And so you might begin to rock side to side. You'll feel those two bones. Maybe you rock forward and back. This is where I begin to notice that I have this tendency to always lean forward. So for me, I have to come back a little bit high up onto the sit bones. I think about aligning my shoulders over my hips. And then I begin to create a tall, long spine as I reach out through the crown of my head and root down into my feet. Your hands can come anywhere that feels comfortable for you. It could be on your lap. Palms could be up or down. You could let the hands hang. Never feels good for you. And then the invitation here, which sometimes can be the hardest part, would be to soften your gaze or maybe even close your eyes. And we do this so we can begin to tune out all of the outside distractions with which right now maybe you have a lot. So begin to disconnect from all those sensory inputs so that you can begin to pay attention to what's happening on the inside of the body. And then next, I'll just invite you to begin to connect to your breath. And this is something I've been thinking about a lot lately, the breath that we breathe, the air that comes in and out of the body, the function of the lungs. So here, just begin to slow the breath down. You can inhale or exhale through your nostrils or your mouth. So take a little bit of time to make your breath a little bit fuller, a little longer. This sometimes is the hardest part, beginning to make that connection with yourself. 
Notice the way the body expands with the inhale. That's your lungs opening and expanding with oxygen. Feel that in your body. And then as you exhale, allow the air to gently leave the body smoothly, without force. Just take a few rounds of breath here. If you're having a hard time connecting to the breath, I'll invite you to use a four count breath. So that would be inhaling for a count of four. And then exhaling slowly for a count of four. Don't forget about that connection to your feet, to your toes, to your heels. Don't forget about sitting on those sit bones and rising tall in the body so your breath, your prana, your life force energy can move freely and openly up and down through that center channel of the body. Few more rounds here without rushing gathering all the air filling the lungs and as you exhale maybe releasing a little bit of stress and tension out of the body letting it go take two more rounds without rushing With your eyes closed, perhaps, just release your arms down by your sides. Let the arms dangle, rooting into the feet. Maybe you gently begin to turn your palms forward, beginning to lift the heart towards the ceiling, opening the chest, rotating the shoulders open, reach through the pinky fingers down towards the floor. And as you root down, we're going to inhale, reach the arms out and up overhead. And as you exhale, your palms could come together and we'll bring the hands down through heart center. On your inhale, you can reach your arms up. On the exhale, hands can come wide, reaching the fingers all the way down towards the ground as you lift the heart. Let's do that a few times. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale up. Full breath. Exhale down. Let's do one more just like that. A full big inhale. Reach out, open the heart. Maybe the gaze comes up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. And we'll pause here for just a breath. your inhale reach your arms back up overhead reach up high through the fingertips pull up out of the hips reach through the sides of your body we'll take one more inhale here and on your exhale you're going to twist your navel point to your left and with the exhale you can drop the hands down towards the ground on your inhale reach your arms up overhead and begin to Twist the navel point back through center. With your next exhale, we'll twist the opposite direction and release the arms down. On your inhale, lift the arms up, come back through center. Exhale, twist to your left. We're just gonna move through a few rounds this way. And as we begin to create this twisting motion in the core, I want you to think about twisting from the middle of the body more so than with the shoulders and the hands. Let all the movement come from those muscles that knit around the ribs and through the front of the belly. Inhaling up, and you're always gonna move at your pace. Exhale, twist. Whenever your next inhale brings you back through center, we'll pause here, you can take the gaze up, Root into the feet, reach high through the fingertips, and on the exhale, bring the hands together, palms touch at heart center. All right, how you doing? I'm so glad you're here with me. 
Let's relax the hands down. Maybe you can place them on your, your thighs or you can release them down beside you. I'm going to invite you to drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Just let the gravity do the work here. Let the head hang. Relax your shoulders down. Find a little bit of breath. And then here as your head hangs, you might want stillness. Or maybe you begin to rock your chin forward and back. Seeing how this feels in the neck, maybe even into the shoulder. Nothing to rush here. We're just beginning to warm the body slowly. We're being very patient and kind with the body. Beginning to notice perhaps where we're holding tension. And then inhale, bring your head back up through center. I'm going to drop right ear to right shoulder. And just pause here. Let the head hang. Relax the shoulders down. Find your breath. Maybe you close the eyes, maybe you find stillness, or you might like a little rocking motion forward and back. Allow all of your awareness to come into the present moment that is right here in your body, on your mat. Perhaps even allowing the breath to guide the practice. Maybe the breath is the most important part of your practice. Then inhale, bring the head back up through center. Let's roll through the shoulders a few times. You decide which direction you like to move. Just start shrugging the shoulders up by the ears, take them around and back. And then go the other direction. Don't forget about rooting into your feet and coming onto the sit bones reaching up through the crown of the head. Nice, all right. Release the arms down by the side. Take your left hand under the chair. You can grab on under the chair or to the side of the chair. Root into your feet. And as you inhale, you'll lift the right arm up and take a bend to the side. Exhale, release your arm down, come back up through center. On your inhale, lift your left arm up. We'll take a little bend to the side. Inhale, lift back up through center, and release your hand down. Bring your hands to the lap, to your knees or to your thighs. Maybe you take your feet just a little bit wider. We're gonna root into our sit bones and reach tall through the crown of the head. And then begin to lean forward, hinging from the hips, extending out through the crown of the head. Once you get there, root your tailbone down and back, anchor into your seat. Maybe you lean in a little further. You might even bring your belly down to the thighs and allow the crown of the head to hang. Maybe you release your arms down the sides of the legs. Let the head dangle and fall between the body. You could shake the head out here. Bringing your hands to your knees for support. Root into your hands as you lift the spine all the way up, coming tall. And relax the arms. We're going to take our hands and grab onto the back of your chair. And you can grab low, you can grab high, but find a place on the chair to grab onto. And as you hold on to the chair, begin to move your elbows back towards each other. Maybe you even squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back body. As you're squeezing the back body, begin to lift the heart and root into the feet. Maybe 
you take your gaze up. See how it feels if you drop your chin down towards the chest and let the head hang. Steady breath, nothing to rush. And on your next inhale, lift the head if you dropped it, release the hands. Sometimes I like to shake out in between. Nice. All right. So I'm going to invite you to bring your feet about hip distance, maybe a little further. You might come a little bit more towards the edge of your chair, root firmly into the feet, and then bring your hands up at heart center with your elbows lifted. We're going to press into the palms. Here we'll inhale. On your exhale, begin to twist to the left again. And on your inhale, bring the hands back through center. Continue to twist all the way to the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, pressing the palms together, come through center. Exhale, twist. We're going to do this a few more times. This time as you twist, maybe you begin to bring your elbow towards the knee, crunching in a little bit. And on your inhale, you'll lift and come through center. Exhale, twist, bring your front elbow towards the opposite knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, twisting. Maybe you're crunching in, maybe not. It's your choice. It's your practice. One more time on each side. Next time you come up through center, release the arms. Again, I like to roll that out. We're going to extend your left foot forward. And here, you can hold on to the chair for support underneath the chair or behind the chair. You might have to scoot out towards the edge of the chair. As you extend your left foot forward, you're going to root the heel down into the mat and you're going to pull the toes back towards your shin, flexing the foot. Don't forget about the other foot. That's your foundation. Root the foot down into the ground. We'll first inhale as we reach out through the crown of the head. On the exhale, you begin to hinge forward towards that straightened leg. And you decide how far you go. Once you get to the edge of that stretch where you can still breathe fully, maybe you drop the head in. Take a full inhale, steady exhale. When you're ready, we'll gently lift back up. Come tall in the spine, bring the right foot back in. You're going to extend the right foot out long, plant the heel into the mat, flex the toes back, find a place to place the hands for support, come tall in the spine, root into your grounded foot for support, and then gently begin to hinge forward. Maybe you drop your head in. Let the breath come in and out here. Your body might rise and fall with the inhale and the exhale. When you're ready, we'll gently lift back up. Bring the leg in and release the arms. Good. Alright, I'm going to invite you to take your feet into a wider stance. Maybe the toes point out or forward, whatever feels comfortable for you. 
Your hands could come to your knees or your thighs, but find those sit bones once more, and then rise tall on the crown of the head. We're gonna create some hip circles. So on your inhale, rotation can come forward. On your exhale, you can round back. You decide what direction you like to go, but don't forget about rooting your feet down into the ground, into the earth. Also keeping your sit bones rooted down into the chair. Almost like your hips are glued to the seat. And then switch it up. We'll come the other direction. Taking your time. back through center. Keeping your feet as they are in this wide stance, I'm going to invite you to bring your left forearm down to the thigh. So you'll lean in here a little bit and then locate your right shoulder and begin to roll it back. Here you're going to begin to open your heart, your chest towards the ceiling. Maybe you begin to lift your right arm up towards the sky. You can extend the fingers tall, or you might want to bend the elbow and take the hand behind the head, press the head into the hand. Any of these options will work. We'll take a few breaths in this side bend. If you want to create some resistance, you can slide this left hand down straight inside the knee. You can press the knee into the arm and press the arm into the knee, find a little bit deeper twist. You decide what's going to feel great for your body today. And then exhale, we unwind, we come back through center. Come on to the other side. So your right forearm comes down towards the thigh. You begin to move that left shoulder back, twisting your heart open towards the ceiling. Press into the feet. Maybe you lift the left arm up overhead. Some people might want to bend the elbow. Hand comes to the back of the head, head pushes into hand. Always that option to extend your arm down inside the knee, pressing the knee into the arm, pressing the arm into the knee. Don't forget about your breath. And as you exhale, we'll unwind and come back through center. And then we'll walk our feet back in about hip distance. So I'm going to invite you to come into a supported version of an eagle posture. And we'll start with the feet. So let's begin by taking our left ankle behind the right. You can wrap the foot around and then squeeze your thighs together. Begin to squeeze everything in towards the midline and then we'll extend our arms out wide. We're going to take the right arm over the left and you can grab opposite shoulders. Keep squeezing the thighs in. You could stay here. Some people like to bend the arms up. Either one of these work. Keep engagement through the center of the body, through the thighs, through the core. Maybe you drop your chin down. Maybe you even gently round forward. Everything is moving in towards the center of the body. We'll take an inhale here. And an exhale. And when you're ready, you can release the arms out, stretch the fingertips wide, and release the legs. Sometimes I like to bounce them, shake it out. Let's try that on the other side. So take the right ankle behind the left, wrap the foot around, and then squeeze the thighs together. Create that activation that starts in the thighs and moves all the way up through the core. And then we'll reach the arms out wide. This time, left arm comes over right, grabbing onto the shoulders, staying here, or turning the elbows up. Either one of these work. Maybe you drop your chin down and gently round forward. Keep squeezing the thighs in and finding breath. Inhale, 
You can lift the torso. You can extend the arms, reach through the fingertips, and release the feet. And we'll shake that out a little bit. All right. I'm going to invite you to come into a side seat. So let's begin by turning to your right. And you could come to the edge, positioning yourself on the corner of the chair. Or you can turn completely sideways so that half of your backside is hanging off the chair. And that feels kind of weird at first. But your front hand could come to the front corner of the chair for support. Back hand can come to the back of the chair. Root into your front foot, your right foot, and then maybe you just gently drop the left knee down. Now don't allow the hips to fall off of the chair. We're gonna keep the hips in the same plane. The knee's just hanging here. And you could stay here, or you can see what it feels like if you begin to scoot your foot back, finding some extension. You determine how far you like to take your foot back. Some people might like to lift up and adjust themselves and walk the foot all the way back towards a lunge. You're going to determine what feels best in your body. Root into your front foot. Keep your hand on the back of the chair. And when your inhale comes, lift your left arm up overhead and begin to bend to your right. So as you bend here, your left knee is rooting down. Left hip is gently rooting down. Might feel a nice stretch to the front of that left hip. And on your inhale, we're going to bring the torso back up through center. When you feel firm in your foundation, maybe you reach both arms up overhead, maybe even the gaze comes up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the hands down to the chair. You can walk that back foot in. And then we're just going to begin to turn the other direction. So turning towards the left, beginning to create a foundation. Left foot is rooted down. Right knee can begin to drop down, hanging towards the floor. Remember not to drop into that hip. You want to keep both hips up on the same plane. Hand could come to the chair for support. And then you decide if you want to walk the foot back a little bit. Maybe you want to come a little bit further into a lunge. Once you feel steady, we're going to inhale and lift the right arm up and begin to bend to the left. Finding breath here. Steady inhalation and exhalation. your inhale, come back through center, get steady in the feet, maybe gently brace the belly towards the spine, and you can lift both hands up overhead, maybe even the gaze comes up towards the ceiling. When you're ready, release the hands down, they can come to the chair for support, you can begin to walk that back leg in, and then we'll come back turning towards the front. All right, so that concludes the sitting part of the practice. I'm going to move to a little bit of a little bit of standing postures using the chair for support. So if you'd like to join me, I'm going to invite you to come up to standing. I'm just going to invite you to turn your chair around so that the seat is facing you. As you come facing the chair, we're going to put a little bend in the knees and we're going to start with a forward fold. So take your time, hinging from the hips, folding towards the chair. Hands could come to the chair. Maybe you fold in and take forearms down to the chair. Wherever you are, allow the head to hang. You can position the feet a little wider if you like. You can bend into the knees. But the crown of the head is dangling towards the chair. You're going to release the neck and the head. Maybe you shake it out. And 
And then we're going to lift up and plant our hands in the middle of the chair with the fingers spread wide. Brace your belly towards the spine and reach the crown of the head forward with your gaze down towards the mat. Take an inhale here, and on your exhale, bend the elbows and bow back in towards the chair. On your inhale, lift halfway flat back, belly is pulling towards the spine, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, bowing in. Let's do that once more. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow. We're gonna, I'm going to invite you to step back through downward dog. So your hands can be spread on the chair, or you can just grab onto the sides of the chair. That's going to take a little bit of the bend out of the wrist. You decide what feels good for you, and then begin to walk the feet back. Walking the feet back. Maybe even taking them a little bit wider for support. Begin to drop your head down so your ears come by the forearms. If your hands are flat on the chair, press into the index finger and the thumb. Lift your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Maybe a gentle bend in the knees, maybe a bounce or a rock. And just see how the supportive downward dog feels in your body. On your inhale, take your gaze forward, walk back up to a forward fold. We're going to lift halfway, bow in. Rooting to your feet, place a little bend in the knees. We're going to rise up to standing. So you can take your arms out or you can bring your hands to the hips and lift the elbows towards the ceiling, press into the feet and rise up to standing. Reaching the arms up overhead, hands come into the heart. We're going to move through two rounds of a half sun salutation before we come down to rest. So inhale, reach your arms out and up. On your exhale, find your forward fold. Taking your time to bow down, using the chair as support, dropping the head. On your inhale, press into the chair to lift halfway, belly towards spine. Exhale, bow in. Root into your feet. You can take your arms out or at heart center or to the low back as you rise all the way up to standing and hands come into the heart. We'll do one more. Root down as you reach the arms out and up. Exhale, finding your forward fold. Lifting halfway, flat back, extend the crown of the head forward. Exhale, bowing in. Root into your feet. We'll rise up tall one more time. Reach up, maybe you look up. And then hands come into the heart. Take a pause here. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Grabbing onto your left wrist, take a bend to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Grabbing onto right wrist, take a bend to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Release the arms down by the sides. All right, so I'm gonna set you guys up for rest. Know that you can come down to your seat and take a rest seated. You could also come down to the floor. I know for a lot of you, this is your favorite part, so maybe you already have blocks and bolsters set up so you can find a comfortable way to rest in your body. A great way to rest is to use the chair. So if this feels okay, you could come all the way down onto your back and take your legs up onto the chair. You maybe even take a blanket or a pillow under the head. However you find to be in your body, determine if you want your arms to come out or rest on the body. If you're seated, maybe you close your eyes. Take a 
moment to situate yourself in a way that feels supportive and comfortable. As you're heading into that rest, I'm going to play a few moments of bowls, which I play at most all of my classes. Um, I just like to end with a little bit of this sound, a little bit familiar if you come to my classes regularly. Soften into your body, relax your jaw, let the back of your head come heavy, and allow yourself an opportunity to just be. Hopefully there's no rush, you don't have to jump up and, and be anywhere. You could actually lay here as long as you like. you to stay where you are as long as you need. There's no rush, no need to sit up or end your practice seated. Allow yourself this time to just be and stay connected to yourself, to your breath, as long as I'd like to thank you for allowing me this opportunity, for inviting me into your home, for sharing your practice with me. I'll close by saying peace, namaste, love, all the things that make us feel loved and supported and seen in this community. The light inside of me honors and sees the light inside of you, inside of him, inside of her, inside of them, inside of all of us, it's inside of all of us. I thank you for making that connection with me.